I mean, we're going to listen to what LeBron James has to say on the start of, of his 20th season. If there was season. one thing that you wanted your team to improve upon, besides winning and losing, what's that one thing you want your team to improve upon this year? Uh, defense. Um, and obviously, um, you got to be able to put the, uh, the, the ball in the hole for sure. You know, in our league, and, uh, you know, there's some great teams that can do that. But, you know, teams that can defend and can get stops when needed, um, they're, they're just simply more successful in our league. So, you know, I think the defensive side of the floor is what we're going to be um, hammering home on, you know, every single day. And uh, understanding that if we can, we can defend, uh, take, make teams take tough shots, uh, keep them to one shot um, at the goal, and then and rebound and secure the ball, um, put us in a position to be – uh, successful um, throughout the season. Hey, LeBron, uh, your hair looks great. <laughs> uh, you've had, I don't know, cl nearing about 10 head coaches in the league so far. You shared your enthusiasm about Darvin Ham when the Lakers hired him this offseason. What can you tell us about your relationship thus far with, with Coach Ham, and, and what do you see in his skill set that can make this team better? Uh I mean, I think uh, every single day it continues to get better and better and better. But I think just the transparency that we have uh, from the time he was, uh, you know, you know, granted the head coaching job here has been 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 great. You know, um, we've had multiple conversations not only about the game of basketball but things off the floor as well. And uh, I think it was um, well overdue for him to be a head coach. And um, happy to be a part of his journey and uh, and try to do some special things. Hey, LeBron, uh, you've always talked about depending on what the team needs, that's what you're going to focus on more. So 80s first year, a little more point guard, passing a bit more, last year some more scoring. Do you have an, a handle yet on what this roster uh, means for how you're going to focus your game? Um, the focus of my game is being available. You know, that's the most important. You know, um, obviously some injuries you can't control, but, you know, and that's my whole mindset, I think, uh, for me. As the leader of the team, one of the leaders of the team, you know, availability, availability is the most important thing in this league, and to be able to be available, you know, on the floor. Um, so, you know, that's always been my mindset. Hey, LeBron, good to see you. Um, over the course of this summer, um, during your time to unwind and, and some of your work, how much thought have you given to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's record and kind of the the likelihood or possibility of, of setting that and has that even begun to soak in that at some point this season you could be the league's all-time leading scorer um the only time I've, I've kind of like thought about it is when someone you know it been post on social and I and it's like went through my scroll went through my feed and I've seen it and uh every single time I'm kind of in awe of it like wow you know and then certain guys I don't know who's who's doing it but they break down like if I do this, if I average this, if I'm available for these games, then I can make it and do it here. And I was like, that's – I've never, like, played my career with saying if I do this, then this, this will happen. Besides just, you know, making sure that I was in the best shape possible going into a season and, you know, being available, you know. But to – I mean, to sit here and to um, to know that I'm on the verge of, of, of breaking probably the – most sought after record in the NBA. Um, um, things that people say will probably never be done. I think it's just super like humbling for myself. I think it's super cool. And, um, you know, you know, obviously Kareem has had his differences, you know, with some of my views and some of my, some of the things that I do. But listen, at the end of the day, to be able to be rec uh, in the same, you know, you know, breath as a, as a guy that wore the same uniform, a guy that uh, was a staple of this uh, franchise, along with Magic and, and big game over there for so many years, especially in the 80s. Um, and a guy that does a lot off the floor as well, I think it's just super duper dope um, for myself to be even in that conversation. Anytime my name is, you know, mentioned with the greats, you know, if, if it's, you know, obviously, you know, Wilt or, or MJ or now Kareem or whatever the case may be. Just super humbling. Um, guys always see me use my hashtag, the kid from Akron, and that those are the moments where I really think about that kid from Akron, of walking those streets and, you know, either playing basketball where I had a, I actually had a basketball in the hoop or 
actually just walking around and, and air dribbling and shooting into an invisible hoop, you know, and counting five, four, three, two, one, and, you know, you know, making game winning shots. So, so, um, you know, when it get here, I'm not going to put too much pressure on it throughout, you know, throughout the season. Um, uh, but I think it's, uh, it's a pretty historical moment uh, when it gets here. And, uh, you know, as long as my family and friends are all there, um, that's, that's the most important for me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.